<laughs> so glad I had time to think about this. Oh, Penny's obviously closest to me because she's the most recent character I've played and I guess you just can't but help imbue parts of yourself into the people that you play. So, and Waverly to me was incredibly immature in many, many ways and I guess she was who I played when I was younger so that probably makes sense and, and, and Aurora, yeah, no, I, I, just as far as her, her backstory was probably the most far removed, thank goodness. Um, I didn't get abducted into a gang, so that's positive. <laughs> Talkative? Gregarious? Curious? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Newsflash. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a baby whisperer. Put a baby in my arms, I will probably make that baby go to sleep. I put babies to sleep. <laughs> I don't know if that's a talent. It's sure mums would say that's a talent. <laughs> Bad drivers. I'm quite an aggressive driver on the road, and so if you are slow and don't know what you're doing, I will get angry at you. It occurred to me I'm gonna liken myself to a Pahutakawa. Rambling branches. You might be able to tell I'm a bit of a rambler. Um, but they live forever, don't they? And I like that idea. And I love the fact that they just decide to be showy one little special time of year. It's kind of like, I'm going to put on this great big show for you and be the best tree that there is in the whole country. And then I'm going to quietly disappear and just go and do my thing over here. Um, plus, amazing for um, playing on, climbing, you know, providing entertainment. So in that way, I'm going to say a pretty Pahutakawa in December. I think I wake up and I go look after my body first, look after my brain second. And, uh, and then get going. If I have the time, I'm exercising and some Friday, I either go out for a run or I go to yoga or Pilates in the morning. So it's kind of like, yeah, and then coffee. I'm an absolute addict, proudly so. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and that will generally be my first thought of the day. I'm pretty good at consciously trying to get off a screen. I, I'm quite good at just sort of trying to sit with myself and take a moment, I guess, to go over my day mentally. I don't, um, I don't jump into bed wound up and I'm generally a really good sleeper, thank God. When I got the role on Shortland Street, uh, I was 16 years old and I remember being at school in, what was it, fifth form or something, and all you had in front of you at that point in life was what life looked like in seventh form. You know, like how you were going to be when you were 18 and you got to wear the seventh form uniform and go and hang out in the common room and that was the direction that my life was going in. And I got this role on Shortland Street which was only ever meant to be five weeks long and it ended up turning into a seven year long job. I had my 40th birthday last year and for that I ended up on a big overseas trip and um, I managed to spend my time with like almost all of the most important people in my life and I guess what I'm about to say is my friendships, like my relationships that I have in my life um, with both you know, girlfriends and boyfriends um, and my family are probably the most important thing in my life to me and, and what I would say I'm most proud of because I, I place them as a priority and, and look after those relationships a lot.